Welcome to another exciting episode of Tell Us Another One with jokes, sketch, stand-up and improv comedy. And now, please welcome your host, Marco Liberati. Uh, to kick things off, we're going to get uh, stuck straight into our joke off segment. Uh, so we have our special guest comedian. Uh, welcome to the stage, Gavin. All right, you got a couple of jokes for us? Oh, I've got one or two, yeah. yeah excellent, excellent. Now, I had a couple of jokes lined up, yeah. but I've also got a friend of mine in the audience who has got a couple of ripper jokes, and I really can't do them any more justice than she can. She's a great friend, she's a great personality, she's live, she's bubbly, she's funny. Please welcome to the stage our special guest, Joke Off Comedian. Uh, this is the first time we've done this before, but uh, here we go. Christine, come to the stage. <laughs> hey. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you the microphone. Uh, you're going to kick off with one of your jokes. You're going to follow, and we're just going to go backwards, forwards, and have some fun and tell some jokes. Are you ready? Let's All right, on the mark. Okay. Mark's yours. Okay, I'll start with um, my husband got a pack of flimpy condoms, and he brought them home and said, Hey, how about we try them out? I'll go for gold. And I said, How about you go for silver and come second for once? <laughs> <laughs> That was great. <laughs> All right, my turn. A guy runs into a bar. He says, quick, I need you to line up 20 shots of whiskey. Bartender says, no worries, and he starts pouring them out, and the guy's bashing them down, one after the other, quick. Bartender says, hey, 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 mate, slow down. You're going to make yourself sick. The guy says, you be drinking like this if you had what I had. Bartender says, what have you got? He says, a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I had a friend and she found a mirror on hard rubbish and she goes home and puts it on her door and she says, mirror, mirror, on the door, make my boob size 44. And I go, doing. She's like, we're up. She goes and sees, shows her husband, hey, look at this, look at this, I just found a mirror, look what it did. And so he comes over, I've got to give it a go. He goes, mirror, mirror, on the door, make my dick touch the floor. Bang, he lost his legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull one from my personal pool of jokes that I've written. I apologise in advance. <laughs> I don't even need to tell a joke. This lady just laughs. It's great. You know when you're having a devil's threesome, which is, if you didn't know, two blokes and one girl, and both the blokes are down at the business end, and you feel the other guy slip out, is it gay to grab it and go at it back in? You tell me. Well, I thought I was just helping a brother out, you know. <laughs> My brother said it was gay. <laughs> and a bit incestuous. <laughs> that reminds me of a sportsman special. Have you heard of that? <laughs> a man leads, meets a lady at the bar and thinks, oh, she's a little bit old, but she's hot. So I'll try it, you know. So tries it and she goes, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take you home. I'll take you home. Have you, what about a sportsman special? He goes, mother, daughter. She says, mother, daughter. He goes, oh, okay. Goes home. He says, yeah, I thought she was a bit old. I'll get her daughter. Goes home. She goes, mum. <laughs> <laughs> I can't top that. That's great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Joel Tempoli. <laughs> uh, for the very first time on Tell Us Another One, we have a returning special guest comedian. Hey, you're welcome, Dandenong. Hey. Joel was on our very first season two years ago, and he's back, baby. Yeah. Yep. And I see you've brought your notebook and a couple of jokes. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is just, awesome. my, all right, this is just all right. my shopping list. Oh, okay. Good. Anything? anything oh, good yeah. There? Well, I got, I got a JT original. All right. right. Hey, so JT. here we go. That's, those are my initials. All right, all right. All right. Okay. Uh, so I, uh, I, I hit a cyclist in the back today. I know, yeah, I know. I'll tell you how, uh, we're in line at Starbucks. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, he had the helmet and the, the lycra and the shoes and I was like, you know what, prevention's better than the cure. <laughs> What's the difference between a porcupine and a police car? The pricks are on the inside of a police car. Oh! <laughs> I uh, actually got one related to the law. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, I don't text and drive, right? Not because it's dangerous to do so, it's just that I make a lot of typos 
when I've been drinking. <laughs> fair call, fair call, fair call. Uh, I did speak about texting earlier, speaking of typos. Uh, this is one, my wife's a support worker, and she's got a, uh, should I be telling this one, letting people know? Yes. Let's keep it anonymous. My wife, um, Mary, uh, she, uh, she's a support worker. She's, she does NDIS work. My other wife, thank you, yes. Uh, and, uh, and she sent a text. So what she has to do is she supports uh, this kid. Uh, we can't keep his name anonymous because it's actually part of the gag. Uh, <laughs> Mamma mia. It's just a name. Hey, it's just a name. It's Eddie, right? It's Eddie. Yeah, hey. Could be anyone, right? Anyway, so she has to text the parents to, to let them know when she's going to pick up Eddie. Anyway, so she sent a text. She goes, uh, I'll pick up Eddie at 4 p.m. Okay. Confirmed. Very good. Uh, but predictive text jumped in. No, it was Google. It was on the phone. It was in the car. I was in the car, so it was on the old Google send a text. Yeah, okay. Uh, is her interrupting part of the joke? Or is that... <laughs> it just, it just, uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe we just go straight to the source. What do you reckon? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, I'm coming up. Here we go. All right. Why not? I'll take a knee while she Anything goes. Anything yeah. goes. Oh, here we go. I'll just you go. Take, take Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Joel. All right. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Mary. Mary? <laughs> yep. So I ring, I say, Google, can you please message blah, blah, blah. So it goes on and I say, um, hi, Joanne, I'll pick up Eddie at 4.30. So then it says, okay, sending texts. I'll pick up idiot at 4.30. And I'm going, no, 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 cancel, 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 cancel. So I've had to ring up Joanne and say to her, oh my God, Joanne, please do not listen to that message. I, it was, it, it come out so wrong. And she goes, what do you mean? I said, just, just ignore the message. Do not, an do not answer the message, just ignore it. Anyway, so I've hung up the phone and she's messaging back. She goes, she wrote, ha, 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 ha. That sounded funnier reading the message. So, there you go. Yeah, so that's what I Thank you, Olga. Hey, big round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. There we go. It's women, a... women are funny. Hey, hey. <laughs> 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 okay. All right, should we wrap it up or do oh. you want a bonus? <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Oh, geez, they've twisted your arm. All right, I, I've got plenty here. All right, hey, here all right, go. let's go, um, bonus. So I was, uh, I was, I saw a, uh, a bumper sticker today uh, that said "Grandmothers for Refugees," and I was like, "I'd make that trade." <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I mean, grandma, you know, you haven't done the ironing in like 20 years, you know. You have got to be ruthless at the trade table, guys. That's it. That's it. All right. I think we'll wrap it up there. We can We'll finish on a high. Thank you, John. Thank much. Thank you. All right. Good job. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome. welcome. Thank you so much. Great to be here. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're doing Joke Off. You have a couple of jokes for us? We do, and I've got backups. You so got right. let's see how deep we go. All right, should we just uh, get straight into it? Yeah, you go first. You want me to go first? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm a gentleman. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. All right, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Now, you got me on the spot now. I don't know what to do. Oh, what do I do? All right. Uh, so uh, this is a joke. Uh, <laughs> This is a joke from my sister Julia, she told me today. Uh, she actually told me some interesting facts about bald men. There are 90% of bald men that still own combs. Apparently they find it hard to part with. <laughs> well done. Hey, there excellent. we go. Thank you, thank you Julia. All right, excellent. Forced an applause out of them. Um, <laughs> I, I've got a new problem. Um, yeah. I keep randomly shouting out cauliflower, and broccoli. Okay. I think I've got florets. <laughs> so good. Uh, great. Yes. All right. Maybe not. Looks Maybe like not. I didn't read my notes. Uh. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so this one's a little bit of a long story. Uh, I've got a friend of mine, John, who's a bit of a conspiracy theorist, and I rang him up the other day. I said, "Hey, John, it's Marco. Hey, go on. Because yeah, yeah, good, good, good." I said, "Mate, you know what? You're right. You're right, mate. I'm sorry, but." Uh, Mate, all these years you've been telling me about UFOs, and I can confirm they are real. I said there is currently a supreme female alien race abducting men with big dicks. 
So it's okay, mate. You've got nothing to worry about. You're completely safe. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. And by the way, this spaceship is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, how about we bring to the stage a nice big warm, tell us another one, round of applause, James Liotta. <laughs> Can I just say something quickly? Please do, yes. Just so you know, you do have a baby tonight in this audience. Yes. At a comedy show. Yes. Now, I just should mention, the baby can stay, but the parents must go. <laughs> yes. So... It's, it. it's all yeah. about uh, responsible parenting. Responsible parenting, yes. That's right, that's yes. right. Get it. Security? No. <laughs> that's good. All right. I'm touring all around the country, and it's about... Uh, a lot of the show is about my Italian mother, um, not all of the show, but partially some of the show, and I think she's uh, she's here today, oh, awesome. tonight. Yeah. She's not in the audience. Not I in the audience. Her. She's no? at the pokies. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, all right. she, Hopefully she comes and joins us later. Drag her, her out. out. Drag, Someone, her out. drag her back in. And Excellent. thank you for sharing the same hairstyle as me. Oh, thank you. Now right. we look, we look like a pair of testicles. There you oh, go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, someone uh, actually once said that they, uh, they're actually not bald, they just dye their hair clear. Yeah. <laughs> I, I shaved just to match you. Oh, nice. So, Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, it. All right. So we're here for Joke Off. Joke Off. All right. Okay. Uh, you, got a, you got a couple of jokes? I got up? a couple of jokes, cool. yeah. yeah. You want to kick things off? Do, shall I kick it off? Go kick it okay. off. Okay. Any, anyone in here been together a, like a, a long time? You got any, any couples here that have been together, say, over 20 years? Anyone here? Over 20? Fantastic. We've got a few here that have been over 20 years. So you guys probably know that, you know, over the journey of your relationship, uh, sex changes a lot. You know, uh, and it goes through three stages, Marco, and I'm okay. going to take you through different stages of sex, okay? Oh, okay? The first stage is called everywhere sex. That's when you first get together and you can't get your hands off each other and you're doing it in every single bedroom that you can find, <laughs> every single room, on the kitchen table, on the washing machine, wherever you can find oh, time, okay? Cool. Then a few other years pass, like maybe 10 years pass, you know, and then you, you can't bother doing it everywhere anymore, can you? So that's when you go to bedroom sex. That's uh, sex in the bed. And if you're lucky, on the end of the bed for special occasions, oh, nice. like your mother-in-law's birthday or something like that, you know. <laughs> and then like 20 years or more pass, and that's when you have this thing called doorway sex, okay? Do you know about this one? Never heard of it. It's when you pass each other in the doorway and you go, fuck you, and you just move on. <laughs> you know about that one? Excellent. I've got it. I'm not sure if anyone here is going through nice. doorway sex at the moment. Excellent, excellent. But yeah, sorry, I know there's Very a few good. young, sorry about that. It's <laughs> good. I was actually at a uh, at a wedding quite a few years ago, and we had a really good priest. He was great. He was very jovial and very uh, very charismatic. And he told us all a joke uh, about marriage. And he goes, "Marriage is like honeydew. So you know the rock melons, the orange, and you've got the green one. They're called the honeydew. He goes, once you get married, marriage is like honeydew. The wife says, honey, do this, honey, do that, honey, do this." Yeah. True, true. There, there we go. We kind of linked there a little bit about a marriage. Bit there. A bit yeah, of a link there. Is it my turn? Sure. sure. Okay, my turn. Uh, so this is a joke that uh, I've always loved. It's it's pretty cheesy, uh, and it's uh, ma it was made famous by a very very well known comedian. Some of you may have seen uh, his special uh, many many decades ago. So there is a bear and a rabbit. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Very good. It's a good joke. It's, it's good, good it's good, it's good. A bear and a rabbit are in the forest, awesome. taking a shit. <laughs> and the bear turns to the rabbit and says, Hey, rabbit, do you have problems with shit sticking to your fur? The rabbit says, Nah. So the bear wiped his ass with the rabbit. Fantastic. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. That's it. Eddie Murphy, that's an Eddie, Eddie Murphy joke. Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy made that famous. It's a great joke. Uh, loved it. Still love it. Awesome. Yeah. Love that one. Yeah. I'm going to go back to do a, an Italian joke. It's a very short one. Uh, would you like to hear another joke? Oh, okay. All righty. So, uh, short and sweet, I told my wife I'm going to make a car out of spaghetti. You should have seen her face when I drove past her. Ah! Boom tish. That's it. Well, your car, your car one has spurred up another car one yeah. that I have. Because I, I had an uncle who used to build his own cars. Yeah. And one time he took the engine of a Ferrari the wheels of a Lamborghini, and then he took the steering wheel of a Maserati. And you know what he did? Four months in jail for that. <laughs> okay. That's very good. That's it. I'm out of jokes. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> and we're done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Paula Ferrari. <laughs> And there we go. Be seen, be heard. Two golden rules of comedy. <laughs> Excellent. 
Unlike no, parenting. Unlike parenting. Yeah, I'm trying no. not to be seen or heard. No. <laughs> all right. That's good. It's all about responsible parenting, isn't it? That's great. Uh, do you have a couple of jokes ready for us? Oh, yeah, sure. You well, know. since I started on parenting, you yeah. know, there's a lot they don't tell you about parenting. No. No. No, no. Got to work it out as you go. Yeah, all the crying. I haven't stopped for 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Oh, all right, okay, twisted her arms. All right. You guys are not like my kids. No. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, shut up, mum. <laughs> I try my material out on my children. That's so I know if, if it's inappropriate. All right. Yeah, the, the inappropriate jokes, they're the ones that make it. Mm. So, yeah, um, I have twins. Mm. I'm a parent of twins. And uh, people ask me about my twins, things like, oh, which one's the smart one? And I'm like, well, they're assuming, you know, one's smart, really. <laughs> I feel sorry for them both. <laughs> People ask me if they feel pain at the same time. And the answer is yes, they do, when I'm banging their heads together. <laughs> this is from Neil. I'll take no responsibility. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> uh, so uh, Neil's joke is, what's the difference between Woody from Toy Story and a Catholic priest? I warned you. <laughs> when a child walks into the room, Woody goes limp. There you go. All right. Okay. That's good. That, that was received quite well, wasn't it? Good, good. Hey, there we go. <laughs> and joining us today, ladies and gentlemen, Crew Harale. Thank you, thank you. Amazing. Give it up for Marco. Oh, you did a great show. <laughs> Love it. Thanks, Crew. Thanks thank for coming you. and joining us. My pleasure. All right. Are you ready for our joke off segment? I am. Excellent. Do you have a joke prepared? Um, no? Yes, I do. Great. Should I start? Are I'll, we ready I'll get you to me? tell a joke and I'll tell one. And then if they want to hear more, the, the audience will have to say... The tell us another one. Tell, Thank uh, you very much. Excellent. All right. So, uh, hey, let's go. Let's get the ball rolling. Okay. Um, what, do you, what do you call when a short person waves at you? All right. What do you call it when a short person waves at you? Microwave. Microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Cool. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so this one here is a little bit of a story one. So it's about this old guy who's driving along at two o'clock in the morning. He gets pulled over by the police. And the police pull him over and he goes, mate, what's going on? Where are you headed at this time of night? He goes, mate, I'm actually going to a lecture. And the lecture's about alcohol abuse. It's about uh, hanging out with your friends late at night. And uh, it's about upsetting your wife. And he goes, who the hell is giving that kind of lecture this time of, this time of night? And he goes, that'll be my wife. <laughs> there you go. That's so good. Tell us another one. All right. I have, a, I have another quick one. Um, what do you call when a chicken looks at a lettuce? Chicken Caesar salad. Hey, there it is. <laughs> You twisted my arm. All right, I'll tell you one. So uh, there was a husband, and wife, and their only child at the table, and he wasn't eating his sprouts. So the mum had a go at the little boy. He goes, "Come on, son, you got to eat your sprouts." And he goes, "No, I don't want to eat them." And he gave a bit of bit of grief. He goes, "Oh God!" And then the husband leans over and whispers in his ear. He gobbles up his sprouts, finishes his meal, and he's up in his room. And the wife goes, "Wow, that was amazing! What did you What did you say to our son?" Because I told him, son, if you don't eat your sprouts, your willy won't grow big. Uh. Right? And then the wife slapped the husband across the face. He goes, what was that for? That's for not eating your sprouts when you were a kid. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's great. <laughs> Someone wants more. Do you have another one? Oh, okay, let's do one more. Last All right, one. bonus um, round. Here we go. One more from Guru. Why did the chicken... Start lifting weights. Cool. Why did the chicken start lifting weights? Because he was working on his pecs. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Chin. <laughs> so we're here for Joke Off. Um, do you want to start off? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. 
Here's, here's a joke. Uh, do I tell them to you or tell them to the audience? It's for everyone. Ah, right, for everyone. It's for everyone. All right. Why does Santa Claus have such a big sack? Oh. Why? Oh, they've heard it before, yeah. Because he only comes once a year, yeah. That's, there we go. There <laughs> they, they beat me to it. That's, that's a, right. Very impressive. That's good. We like the classic jokes, the old and the good and the new. You won't the get old. the next one. That's good. That's for sure. Uh, I've got a short little joke to start off with. This is from an audience member. We actually suggest, uh, we have audience, uh, we get our audience to suggest jokes for us and to write them down. And uh, this is from Ben. And this was a joke about thermometers. So what's the difference between a thermometer and a rectal thermometer? The taste. Oh. It's one of those jokes that gets a cringe and a laugh at the same time. I like that one. It's a, it's a good one. <laughs> okay, we'll tell you another one. Uh, I met this extremely impressive girl online. And what impressed me about her was that at the age of 12, she had already become an undercover cop. Okay. <laughs> Very impressive. Another one. Okay, I'll tell you another one. Uh, this is a little collaboration I've done with a friend of mine, Creighton, a few years ago. He's a truck driver, and he was telling me a story about uh, going to a truck stop and getting ready for a long interstate haul. And he's, uh, he's at the shop, he buys some goodies for his big trip, and as he's walking out, his hands are full, he drops his bottle of water. And by some absolute miracle, this thing just bounces right up off the ground, and he catches it, and he's like, whoa, what's going on there? And then he's like, oh, of course, spring water. <laughs> ah. There we go. Right. There we go. That's one good. more, tell us another one. Okay, let's go bonus round. Another right. one. All you right, won't right, get sure. this one, you won't get this one. What has two wings and a halo? What has? That's close. It's a uh, Chinese guy picking up the phone. Wing wing, hello. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. All right. Nice. Oh, nice. an applause break. Nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. All right. Should we go just one more to finish it off so it's even numbers? Tell us another one. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is part two of the uh, of the truck joke. So uh, Creighton's driving his truck interstate, and it just so happens that while you're driving these big trucks interstate on these big open roads you occasionally hit a kangaroo. So he's hit a kangaroo and he's got a big bull bar and, and you just keep driving as a truck driver, so he's done that. And then uh, later on down the road, he's hit an emu. And he pulls over to a truck stop a bit later on down the track and he looks at his car, he looks at his big truck and he sees this big massive chrome grill with a big emblem in the middle. He sees a kangaroo on the right, a big emu on the left, and he goes, would you look at that? A real life Australian coat of arms. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's it for our joke off segment. Yeah, great finisher. Cool. All, right, all right. When you joke off, you have to finish. That's uh... <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> right. Great riff by me. Right. And speaking of finishing, we're done. All right. All right. <laughs>